Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Natsak. This video is going to talk about how to create free radius in CentOS 7. I already have CentOS minimal installation in my Hyper-V machines. I'm going to show the installation of 3DN radius server and uh, how to bring it up and do basic configuration and test it. And then later on, it's going to be integrated into my lab environment. So login as root. Um, I may not have IP yet. And then TUI. Is we can start using our okay we cannot connect it through our SSL client make sure you have yum updated your version this is gonna take a while so I'm gonna stop here and come back once it's done. Okay, update is completed. Now we can start to install free radius. It's a four components, free radius, free radius utilities, free radius MySQL, free radius Pro. So it's about uh, 51 Mac. That should be fine. Okay, let's check the status. It's not active yet. Let's start the latest D service. Let's uh, enable it for the startup. And let's restart the service. Check the status again. It's active, running. Now we're gonna do some basic configuration. Folder IDDB folder. So there's a lot of configuration. So first thing we need to create a client to make sure our client accept the connection from local. So this long client configuration IP address is local and uh, protocol is any. The secret is testing one, two, three. And the request require message authenticator is no. So that's pretty much everything you need. Next type is alles. Okay, that's okay. So then So those are four configuration by default, it's already there. Then we need to define the user. So go to the users folder by default. This is Steve. Don't need that. This is Bob. We can enable Bob as our test user. So the password is hello. Then that's good. Save the configuration. We enable the Bob as our test user. Now we need to restart our service.
cool. Now let's do test with the user account Bob. Hello. So the traffic was sent to 127.0.0 local. And uh, we're going to use uh, testing 123. Click at the reply, received, accept ID. Accept sentence port is zero. Ex access accepted from one to twelve and three two. You got to reply back. Hello, Bob. That's amazing. Um, we can also testing using our third party tool. Download it. The name is NTR. AD pin.exe. I already downloaded it here. So um, the one thing we need to know my IP is 192.168.2.69. So we need to follow the steps create client, create a user, and test it. We have user Bob, but we need to create a new client. So let's do client. Let's create a new client. Go down. This is a local host client. We won't touch that. We're gonna create the new client here. Let's call test one machine. So the secret equal gonna do cyber arc one and the IP I think we're gonna do IP address uh, equal nine I think that's it. So we define the new client from my test machine 192.168.2.69 and we're gonna test Bob again. Don't forget to restart the latest D service. So here is what I put in here 192.168.2.12. Try three times. Um, Cyberhack one is the latest secret key. No, that's a test one to testing one to three is our secret key for that's local host. Now it's Cyberhack one, and the land user is Bob, and the password. See what we put password for Bob. Bob password is hello. Gee, hello. And uh, we can send test. No responding. That's a port of testing. So we can do something. We can system CTL stop radius D. We can use in debug running to see what is going. Let's stop the service. Fair the binding port tell is in using. Let's see status. Activate this dad. Let's try dash x latest port is has been using let's p q latest d okay try again now works 
Okay, so then we can try our new command and see what is going. It didn't send to system yet. The reason why? Because of firewall. Let's open or stop the firewall first. Open the session. Okay. Okay, let's check the firewall status. Yeah, that's why. So there's a couple of ways you can open a firewall port. You can disable the firewall. So for me, I would just um, disable it for my lab. And I need to prevent it uh, being started from anywhere. So I mask this service so it won't be started anymore. Let's check the service again. Okay, now we can go back to our latest tail. We can test it again. We got the play pack. So we are testing from another machine using NTP AD pin test utility test our radio setting working very well. So at this moment, we got the full function uh, radio server with a local username, authentication. Um, that's pretty much we need it at this moment. Thank you for watching. Thank you.